we're in Parashini Mida Hashishis, and we're working through the Kesser of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Um, talked about a Kaddish Baruch Hu's Kesser and Aznaim and Einaim and Netzach and all of these, uh, being the word B'Tselem Elakim, we uh, possess all of these different uh, traits which are metaphorized by HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Kivyochel, uh, his Tzuras HaPonim. So the sixth one is interesting, the Choytmoy is Hashem's nose. You wouldn't think that we're going to find a lot of spirituality in Hashem's nose, but um, be surprised. So Hashish is Choytmoy, Hashem's nose. Um, let's just read a little bit. We don't find in Hashem, or we, we shouldn't, like, let's talk about us. So whatever we talk about anger, we always talk about the nose. Haron af. Hashem is Erech Apayim. Long nosed. Those Jewish noses. Never thought about that. Just opened up a whole world. <laughs> By the end of the, today's uh, session, we'll get to Pinocchio. <laughs> well, why not Pine and not just Alf? There's two. <laughs> two. Two nostrils. Hmm? Here is, is nostrils, but the whole Gresha, the whole uh, Marechet is called a pine. The Philos a pine. You're not falling on your Metzach, on your Enaim, on your Ezaim. The Philos a pine. Which kind of takes over the face. The nose. You ever see somebody without a nose? Cut off your nose to spike your face. It's always the first thing ahead of you, unless hey. you have a stomach. It's always in your face. It's always in your face. It's always your face. Right. Um, so, um, so the nose is the seat of anger. What should be in your nose? Chaim, the rot sign, toiv, arichusaf. Arichusaf is opposite. Long nose. Arachapaim. Arichusaf. Afilu loisam sheinim hagunim. We don't get angry even to somebody who's an unworthy person. Okay, in other words, you shouldn't get angry, stop, you shouldn't lose your temper, move on. But some people are, uh, you know, you always hear people like when they, um, when they do something wrong, like you kill somebody, you know, or they hurt somebody, uh, you know, so they always say like in court, yeah, but you don't know what he did. <laughs> okay, so like um, there's a certain, um, you know, ah thing. I'm angry as hell. You ever hear that expression? That's also a rough name, stick thing. I feel loy some shainam hagunim. The Tamid writes uh, on the contrary. What should you do with your nose? Tamid writes a lamalis ratsa in a lahafi kol sheela. We should always try to fulfill, this is a nose job. We should always uh, try to fulfill the ratzon of our fellow man, lahafi kol sheela, to. Um, fulfills every request, and to give life to everyone who's disadvantaged. And always give forth from your nose, mechila, avay, v'atsoras pesha. One should never get angry to somebody who is chote to him. So there's a lot going on here in the nose. It's a, it's a, it's a big... Um, so I, did, I just um, 
some discussions for a bit like the dough seems sort of innocuous to the whole um, system here. It doesn't seem like the forehead that surrounds the brain, the rut zone, uh, what you hear, what you see, what you, that, that we understand are very spiritual things. Nose is a bit schwach, but it's really not uh, because um, that the entire neshama of a person comes about through his nose. It's all about the nose. That when HaKadosh Baruch Hu, um, he didn't speak at Nisham into our ear, he didn't whisper it into our ear, he didn't look it into our, he didn't gaze it into our eyes, he um, didn't give us mouth to mouth resuscitation. Didn't give mouth to mouth resuscitation. It was, it's all exactly right. It's, a, it's all about the Nisham, it's all about the life, the actual formation of life um, came about by Hashem's choice through the Chotem, through the nose, by Yipach of Nishmas Chaim. Um, so, so the nose then becomes the the uh, the seat, not just of anger or lack of it thereof, but uh, the nose becomes the seat of the neshama. Lashon Azayar is ki ha'af hu mishkan ha'neshama. Parshas Tzav. Azayar says that the af is actually the mishkan ha'neshama. People say my neshama, my neshama. Yeah, yeah. Here, point to your nose. Right. <laughs> Af who nishmas who who mishkan hanashama zayar parshas tzav at the beginning. Now I read once I just um, just before we learn more about it like uh, the the um, like what is anger such a curious thing. Two things are very curious to me: anger and laughter. Such a strange reactions. Um, Laughter is very strange. It's not, it's not our subject today. Like laughter, it's like having like a uh, um, an epileptic attack. <laughs> People hear something that's funny, like it looks complete control. It's like, it's not a smile, like a total lack, lack of control. Like, which is a big, and so, so too is anger. It's, it's a complete lack of control. So it's got lost. I it, just looking at the news, like well, Los Angeles uh, on the. On Saturday morning, yesterday, so you know there's two people cutting each other off, and uh, and one guy just uh, one of them got out of the car, and the other one got out of the car. You know, those tough guys, and he shot three people. Yeah, road rage. So three other people. Yeah, no, he shot the three people got out of the car. Well, they cut him off. Yeah, they cut him off. Well, what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kill three people. Oh, she killed three people. Road rage. Uh, complete strangers. Completely. Yeah. Like a, it's kind of like a, a very strong reaction. <laughs> <laughs> he got to the appointment much later than he was going to if he just let him cut him off. Yeah. So it's just, uh, I, th I think that, um, I think, I, I just, I, maybe, maybe I, I, I read once or I learned or I think, I don't know. But, um, like anger, we get angry is when there's a complete violation of what we believe is supposed to be taking place right now. There's a, where there's a real violation of either my boundary or a rule, a clear rule. So people tend to get very angry. Yeah. Laughter is the exact same thing, though, if you think about it. It's a, it's a, a complete, complete uh, yeah. irony. Right. I see, like if you're standing in the supermarket and it says, like, you know, um, 10 items only in this line, and, and somebody comes in with 12 right. items. Prata! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're here, I'm not here in this country. I don't recognize it. This country is in America. Like, wow, the letters, the words, the four letter words. The, like, there's a clear rule here. The rule is, you know, 10 things, you know, 12 things. Like, it's, it's not a. It's a, it's a, so so we lose our temper. It's like a, an amazing. Uh, it's just an amazing thing. When you lose your temper, so, that, so now okay. But I know the Gemara. Kol akoye skilu shem vechdam. You know, kol akoye skilu even have a The guy do it already. I understand how to tell him. Excuse me, sir. It says, it says ten, you know, twenty. We're not talking about. I'm talking about like kas. So like, what's what's the um, like why? Well, what's the nature of this kas? The 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 pshat is, I don't know scientifically, um, but, but spiritually the, the pshat is that 
the 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 shaba anger is a is a is a function of the nose, which, which I try to explain, but um, it's a function of the neshama. So when when you're violating, my neshama has a set uh, a sense of 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 rav tovara. My my neshama, neshama shenasata be tahirahi. So the neshama that I have has a sense of what's right and what's wrong. There's a sense of right or wrong. The bigger the neshama, the bigger sense of what's right or what's wrong. So it's just wrong. And and when that's that, you're not violating my finger or my foot. You're violating my neshama because you're violating my sense. Not even my seichel. You're violating my sense of right and wrong. So now um, I, I lose control. It, t- it takes over. My my my, my neshama is angry. So when my neshama is angry. Um, stay away. However. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not correct. In other words, that we understand why there, why a person gets angry, but we see from a Kodesh Baruch Hu's era chapayim. A Kodesh Baruch Hu is the the, the shabbos of the shabbos, right? The, the whole thing is vayipach ba'ap of nishas chayim, as the uh, the targum the Zayar says, and targum brings man to nafach midileik nafach. That this is this is the nishmas Hashem. It's a piece of a Kodesh Baruch Hu that you're violating here. So why, why am I angry? Of course I'm angry, but that's not that's not a Kodesh Baruch Hu's reaction. Like it's Arichasaf, as he says here. So the pshat is what do the words that sound? I'm just speaking it out for a second. Arichasaf is the opposite of anger. That I could use the same neshama, I could use the same koach of of strong emotion. In the more idle countries, like uh, you know, where you, you don't get mad, you know, or even angry, you know, like in Australia, it's getting emotional. <laughs> Why are you getting emotional? <laughs> but uh, it's, the the the, the shot is that uh, yeah, it's it's the the the, the shabba can can respond in a number of ways, and this is where um, the, 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 the the goof has to. Has to control the neshama. So now there's such a thing as a word that we never think about is arichasaf. Arichasaf is you become long nosed. Long nosed means let your neshama go to work in a positive, in a positive way. Instead of getting the same energy of getting angry, can become helpful to the other person. Could create a sever ponim yafos. It's hard to understand because if you get angry, I, I mean, some people have a real nesayin with this. Is it true Blood to say that in a sense today because people are less spiritual, therefore there's more anger prevalent? There's only in England where there's some stuff shows that today with a lot of road rage people are much more angry today than they used to when I was growing up. There. Is that because they're I think angry around about like about the wrong things. I don't know if there's more anger or less anger, you know. When, when, I, when, the, when I was uh, when I was a uh, Robin Buffalo. So uh, when I first came, so before there was like a lot of Bali Chuba, it was like mostly Holocaust survivors. But these were like a lot of angry people, you know. Well, <laughs> they were, you know. Can you blame them? <laughs> yeah, so like uh, you can't blame them, but it's still, it's still difficult to deal with. You know, and every, everybody understood, like, you know, but uh, I, th- I think I would have to you that uh, I, I, uh, there was a Shiloh, two people had yard site, you know, so had to Paskin. Like who should have yard sites? So it was pretty clear he had yard site for a father, he had yard site for a brother. You know, these are all Holocaust yard sites. They were like terrible. So, uh, so I said, okay, you should have them for Yom and not you. And uh, hey, like everyone was bekabel by psak, you know, by twenty-two year old psak. But uh, in, in, in the middle of Chasar Sashats, I didn't realize that this guy who wasn't davening was like steaming up with anger, and he stood up in the middle of davening. He stood up and he points to me. He says, "Neither you or Hitler is going to ruin my life." <laughs> <laughs> These guys are rough, but but um, I, I I know that um, or if not to Greenblatt Schlita, he's a, he's a, a godel I think in, a, in, a, in America from Memphis. I remember he came to Dominion on the show once. He's a Masada Gittin. He goes from place to place. And just while he was uh, there, so there was like this big fight about something or another. I don't remember what. There was a big fight. Usually it was about like, you know, uh, you pronounced a word wrong or something like that. Or you said, say Talibut or what you were about. So something like that. It was a some, you know, major issue. But, uh, big fight. So I, I was a little bit embarrassed. Like, you know, here's this, uh, this, this Rav who's, you know, Rav, Rav Dr. Greenblatt, Hashem and Persia. So I explained to him, so he says, that's nah, good. He says, at least I'm getting angry about the right things. You know, like, um, 
I'm not sure how right it was. I'm not for the right reasons. What? I'm not for the right reasons. God, no, but I mean, like, in other words, it's better than road rage. Or better than, yeah. I think these guys have road rage, too. But, uh, it's, um, good. it's, but the point is that, that um, it's, it's, it's actually a very uh, nishamadik response that we're responsible for. They have to really take a lot of uh, care because, because this is the... the, the yeah, Hachoytem v'hareach, this is the Zayi Hareach, hu mishkan ha-neshama. So um, the, the reason why we smell b'samim on Motzei Shabbos is to take a last whiff of Shabbos so that the Kedusha goes with us the entire week. Because the reach, um so let me, let me just, I wanted to show you in none of the Yoyma. Just happened to be learning in the uh, in the Bnei Zosher, Sidish Sefer. In he has up by the month. He goes by the month. So we just started Chodesh Adar, right? So here he talks about Adar, and he says, "Yadua Mikisve Arizal." It's known from the Arizal, "Binyan Rashi Chadoshim." Right? Friday was Rosh Chodesh. Shekol hachadoshim, kol hachadoshim, heim bibchinas evare harosh. That every month is a different part of the head. Shekol hachadoshim, heim achadoshim, heim bibchinas evare harosh, adar, and adar in particular, who said hachadoshim, bishir koimas harosh. That according to the Arizal, adar, chadosh adar, has to do with the nose. In the nose lies the chush of reach. Al kein tira beis hagoyelim asher nasa hanes ba'odher al yadam, because it says in um, in Yeshayahu that uh, the Mashiach is going to be able to smell who's a tzaddik and who's not a tzaddik. When they came, the Yeshayahu says when they came to test Bar Kochba to see whether he was a Mashiach or not. They, 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 the test was, is he able to smell a rat? Is he able to smell somebody who was a bad person? And he wasn't. So that's why they said he's not, he's not the Mashiach. This, this, kuch, this chusha reach is like really, um, something so interesting, the reach is like really being in touch with your neshama. Why? Because vayipach ba'apov nishmas chayim. But he says, shnei ha'goylem shel odor, so what's, what is Mordechai? What's the uh, a Persian word? What is the Gemara Darshan about this? Mordechia, which is Besamen, right? Uh, Mordechia, which is Besamen, like uh, the Ketiris, the Ketiris, the the, 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 the And Esther, Zu, Hadassah. And Hadassah are also a form of uh, Reach. So Dafka, like the uh, Mordechai and Esther, he says, are to betargamin and Mari Dachia, Kisha Amar Chazal, and Esther Nikras Hadasa. Havain, <laughs> understand this. Okay, Nemar be Mordechai, Vayizak Zaaka. It says, Vayizak Zaaka, Gedolo Mara Maoid. That's what it says about Mordechai. Vuloi Nemar Maamar, but we don't know what he was screaming about. We don't know what he said. Also, Vayizak Zaaka, Gedolo Mara Maoid. We don't know what it was. Why? Nesha Kol Yafel Abbasam. <laughs> means to say, I think, what well, it doesn't say, so I'm just uh, conjecturing that, that what it means to say is that sometimes we screw about this, we screw about that, we get angry about this, we get angry about this. This is an expression of his neshama, it doesn't make any difference what he was saying. The Yizak Zaka Gedola, he was screaming. Chazal say that this by Yizak Zaka Gedola, Maramoy, that it says by, by uh, Mordechai, is the exact same words as it says by Esav. When he, when he lost the, the uh, Bechayra. When he lost the Bechayra, he realized that the Bechayra was stolen from him. It says, Vayizak Zaka G'day Lomar Mo'ay. And that's the same, Vayizak Zaka G'day Lomar Mo'ay by Mordechai. Tzadik the Rasha. What, what's the shot? It was also, it, it was a different, it was an expression of the Neshama. Even, even Asa, I lost my Bracha. I lost my Bechayra. So Vayizak Zaka G'day Lomar Mo'ay. I was not criticized for that. He's, this, this, was, this was the... The, the, for once, the neshama coming out in in in, in Asaph, and according to the the Zayhar, this was his re, this was his redeeming 
um, factor that he got angry. So the, the the anger like was exactly replicated. Some say it was like Mita connected Mita because Yaakov stole the Bukhara for Vesa. That's why Mordechai had to scream this way. But however however you learn shot, it's the the, the svar is that we're we're dealing on the level of neshama. We're we're dealing on a level of neshama. So he says further, it's fascinating uh, stuff. So other. Mordechai and Esther, it's all, it's all a Reach thing. And the summon on Matzah Shabbos, it's all about Reach. Hide Tira, ki kol achushim niskar meitzel chet Adam So when Adam Arishan did the chet, so what does it say there? We see the chush haria, v'teira isha kitoiv l'mara, right? She saw that the fruit looked very beautiful. V'tikach, Mipiriyai, she touched, she took the peri, chush ha-mishush. Vatoichal, they ate it, chush ha-tam. Vayishmu, listened to the Malchus of Sadr, chush ha-shmiya. Avo chush ha-reach loy niskar sham. They did this chet with every one of the chushim, all the senses except for the sense of smell. Chush ha-reach from this you see, Asher Chush HaReach Loin Nifgam Kol Kach Ki Inoch HaChushim. That the Chush HaReach, because of this, um, because they didn't use their nose, which would have been an obvious one, they smelled the fruit and it smelled beautifully. Right? It smelled beautiful. They, they, they could have, it was an obvious, but because that wasn't violated, because the Chush HaReach wasn't violated, Ki Loin Nishtam Shubayoz, because they didn't use it, so the Gemara says, uh, the Gemara says, um, how do you know that you make a, a, a bracha on smell? How do you know you make a bracha on smell? So the Gemara says, a pasuk. What's the pasuk? Call Hanashama to Halelka. That's amazing. We learned this kibar too fast. Chush, you make a bracha on the chush arayach. Why? Kol haneshama ta'aloka va'yipach ba'apov nishmas chayim. I mean, the Gemara doesn't say this. This is the obvious shot. Va'yipach ba'apov nishmas chayim. That the, the, the seat of the neshama is in the nose and specifically in the chush arayach. So therefore, you should make a bracha. So he says... Bazayan Yunach, with this with this far we can answer Madam Miboilam the Gemara, what's always schwer in the Gemara. The Gemara says, Minay Shimavarach and Allah Rayach. How do you know you make a brach on Rayach? The Sib call on Shama Tal El Koh. Aizudabashana Shama Nanas Mimano Vuloy Haguf says the Gemara Zaha Rayach. When you're smelling something and it smells good, it's a, it's a, the Nashama has Hana. That's why it's very important not to have a reyach of Avadazara. The Gemara Psachim has a whole sugya. If you're allowed to walk down a street where there's a reyach of Avadazara, carbon of Avadazara, it smells good. Not treif. Treif is not a chazar, but uh, a reyach. So the Gemara says that by every other, is a svar in the Gemara there, in Psachim, that by every other thing you could say, e f shar it depends on your kavana, not kavana. By reyach is more chamor. By, to, to, by the reyach of Avodazar is more chamor because there you're much violating the neshama hmm. with the reyach. So it's, it's, by the way, it's just so interesting. We saw the, the Sitra Achra was like, it's just so interesting how, how like, like reyach is abused, you know, like the whole sensuousness of perfumes and, and colognes. And it's, it's, it's always like, 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 why are you making yourself smell funny? <laughs> like, but, uh, but somehow or another, like, the, because the, the, the reyach goes straight to the deshaba. Like, what, like, like, think about it. Uh, logically, there's no logic to it. You understand it, I am can understand you're saying certain words that are like, uh, you know, uh, you know, arousing, or I could say something, but reyach, like, well, smell good. Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange phenomenon. I mean, it's not any stranger than anything else, but it really is. It's a, also it, connected to the memory more than any other sense. That's it, uh, yeah. yeah. People's memory. They're right next to each other, they're, they're in the brain. 
Yeah. Over here, yeah, by the Chota. Yeah, that's because it goes by the Chota. So he says that the Gibara says that you make a bracha because you make a bracha on a reach. So Frank the Bnei Yisachar Lomdu Shushayla Vehinei Hu Lefele Beinai. This is a pella. Harei Stama Hamer Chazal. We already learned in the Gemara in Lamed Hey. That's a Gemara in Mem Gimel Brachas. We already learned in Lamed Hey. Also Leonis Bnei Lamazeb Le Bracha. You're not allowed to have any Hanah without a Bracha. So what's the Hamer? Just to say, how do you know you make a Bracha on carrots? And how do you know you make a Bracha on cheese? And how do you know you make a Reach is Hanah. If you're having Hanah, you make a Bracha. What's the what's the grace of Chiddush? So he says, "Vafku sham bezoy says far." So he says that that the pshat is well. well let me just read the whole thing. So skip around. Vafku zoy bezoy says far over there in the Gemara in Brachas Laman Hey, where it says that you're not allowed to have ana from this world without a bracha. Asher lehanois me'elam mazeb lei bracha asmichu akra. They learn it from a pasuk because it says La Shema Aretzum Loyai Va Aretz Nasan Livnei Adam. In Tilim Chav Talad it says La Shema Aretzum Loyai. Hashem owns the world. And in Tilim Kuf Tesvav it says Ha Aretz Nasan Livnei Adam. So Frank the Gemara, which is it? Does the world belong to God or does the world belong to us? Answer the Gemara that Kan Koydem Abracha Kan Acher Abracha. That before the Bracha everything belongs to Hashem. After the bracha, it's ours to take. It's Valdek. So the bracha is a kilo matir to take something which belongs to Akadosh Baruch Hu and give it to ourselves. So if all that is true, it's not to itself like a fascinating thing, but somehow or another a bracha makes it from Hashem to yours. I, I can explain why. and It'll help the kasha because at the end, as, as I mentioned often, the, 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 um, the only reason we're here in this world is, I mean, this is an existential point. The only reason we're here in this world is to, is to, is to help HaKadosh Baruch Hu in finishing off the world. Like we're not, Selim Alekim is not that we're end users in the world. Okay, you're here, enjoy, do it, go swimming. It's, it's, it's that we're here, just like Malachim created parts of the world before us, so we're here to finish off the world, and how do we finish it off? By, by doing chesed, by building things, by doing things for people. Uh, this is the uh, doing mitzvahs, making a Beis HaMikdash, making a Mishkan. That's what we're here for. We're not, we're not end users, we're end builders. We're not, right? we're, we're, we're not at this side of the, of the string, we're on this side of the string. We're shluchei HaKadosh Baruch to build in this world. The only reason we're here. So if you take something for yourself, so you're, you're, you're taking, you know, company... Um, company stuff for yourself. Like, like is, that, is that for you? But once you make a bracha, so now I'm taking it as I'm, I'm, I'm working here and I'm doing my thing. And the Kodesh Baruch is not there that, that as, as long as you understand that everything is mina shamayim and everything is where Kodesh Baruch Hu, you can eat. And it's company business. You're doing company business. You're not company business. business. Exactly right. Company business. If, if you work in a factory, you're allowed to eat as many of the things on the assembly line as you as you as many of the chocolates as you want. Yeah. Right. Everyone's thinking of I love Lucy, right? That's the, <laughs> you could just uh, keep on keep on eating the chocolates. But that, that's mutter because uh, it's mutter even up yalocha the pile and are allowed to eat because uh, you know, it's all it's all company um, it's all part of the company. So kan koinum abracha kan acher abracha Means the bracha, the bracha. I'm saying baruch atah Hashem alakinu malchul and barbri arz, barbri eight. I'm I'm saying that this is this is part of my uh, of what I'm doing here in this world. So okay, how, uh, let's go back to the kasha. What is reach any different? What what's why should reach be any different? Adrabba. If you don't have to make a bracha, we have to wonder why don't you have to make a bracha? Whenever, whenever there's a hana that we're having in this world that you don't make a bracha from, you have to ask yourself why aren't we making a bracha on this? Going to Hadi Hikshachar and Lamein Varach Shmias calls them your beautiful music. Why don't you make a bracha? Person, a person has. Uh, 
intimacy. Why don't you make bracha? So he's saying a little bit different than I said. That the Indian of a bracha, the Hasidish bracha, is levar hatoiv vira. Everything in this world has in it good and bad. That's what the um, the the, 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 the Hasidim say this over a lot, but it's really a zayar. So um, vaharaya, um, you know, you eat something, then um, there's a portion of it that has to be eliminated. There, there, there's there's very few things that are so pure. That it requires uh, any, that it does not require any elimination. So the body has to break it up and uses what it uses and eliminates what it doesn't use. Um, there's there's a few mechalim that they say requires very little elimination. You know, maybe honey, maybe certain things. But but ba'etzem, like everything needs um, the chalav udvash. I don't know, like it require very. Uh, it's mostly tov. That's the eretz zavas chalav udvash. Most, mostly tight, dvash, tomorrow, man, dvash, tomorrow, tomorrow. But, um, but the reyach needs no elimination at all. You, 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 can, you can smell all day, and there's not a piece of that that has to be eliminated. Why? Because it's, it's neshama. It's kulay ruchni, it's kulay tight. Reyach is, is, is davr shah neshama, hananas mimenu. It's, it's kulay tight. And the reason it's Kulei Toiv is because by the Eitz Hadas, the, let's do it the other way, the reason why everything is a mixture of Toiv Vira is because Adam and Chava used the Chush Hatan. Adam and Chava used the Chush Hamishush. They used the Chush Hashmi and the Chush Ariya, but they didn't use the Chush Areach. So since they didn't use the Chush Areach, it says in the Chumash, each one of these things is Bayar, Bayikach. It doesn't, it doesn't say that they smelled it, so the, the, the so Mamela, no negativity was ever injected into the fragrance of this world. It's a kulay taiv. So if it's kulay taiv and there's no elimination, so um, so therefore what? There's no beer. Asper Inyan, just a little bit more. Ha'achila. Let's talk about ha'achila leno mimeno taki shalashar, and that way we'll get back to where we're going, says the Bnei Sastar. Every food that a person eats, when you eat, it creates dam um, in the person, blood, and and or we understand that even more sophisticated that it's not just creating blood, but it's energizing the blood and, and giving insulin to the blood, etc. And that which is over. Um, too much, right? If you hate, if you hate too much, or the bad doesn't get in. If it gets in, you're in trouble. You don't want it to get in. Didn't have the begadim came. The body doesn't have to eliminate anything that you smell. Okay, who davar shana shama nenas boy. It's something which the neshama uses because it's kayem eslat. Every drop of that smell stays with you, and that's why, uh, Ramosha, that the you, you remember smell forever because nothing is eliminated. <laughs> it's 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 there forever. What's the whole part of a bracha? He's learning the pshat and the bracha is that you're doing when you make a bracha. Besides, for what I explained, that you're making, that you're showing that this is my purpose in the word, world. But on a, on, a, on a higher technological level, the pshat and the bracha is that it's mafrid the toiv and the ra. I'm saying that I'm taking the toiv out of this and I'm throwing away the klipa. That's that's what's going on with the bracha. I'm being mafrid the toiv and ra. So what bracha are you going to make on reach if it's kulei toiv? There's nothing to be mafrid in the toiv and the ra. That's, so that's why the Gemara says, how do you know, that's the kasha, how do you know you make a bracha on reach, why would you make a bracha? So they have to remember the kasha was, why shouldn't you make a bracha on reach? The answer is, because the bracha is the mafred, and here there's nothing to be mafred. And that's why you need a special lima to tell you to make a bracha. 
that even in fragrance, it's still part of Olam Haza and still needs a slight, a slight beer, not much, but a little bit. For Dai Bazin. Al Kain Mashiach Tzidkenu. She's galabim her of Yomenu Nemer by Pulas Chush Hareach. Mehe Richu by Yuras Hashem. So Yishayo Yud Aleph tells us that Mashiach is going to be able to smell who's a good person, who's a bad person. Scary, no? Because the, because the, um, the, the Reach is going to be the Reach of the Neshama. See, there's another, um, I don't know if it's a side lesson or it's the main lesson over here, but, but like, like we're always judging people and judging ourselves by what we do. But when Mashiach comes, it's going to, he's going to be judging us by the deepest part of us, the Chush HaReach. He's going to be judging the Neshama. Not so much what we do, what we don't do, but what we are and what, what we, we are not. Uh, what we are and what we are not, by and large, is a product of what we do and what we don't do, but it's also a product of Machshava uh, and Dibor, not just Misa. So, and and what our Kavana in doing it is, and, and what, you know, uh, everything. So, it's going to be a, a, a big judgment. It's going to judge our Neshamas. Oh, and he realizes as it is. Boinu is a gam tamla besamim in Matzai Shabbos. Shatan the besamim in Matzai Shabbos is Mizoy Sasuda Nana had some luz that the luz has a na from the neshama. She ate loka hakim shlo nana me ate hadas bear of Shabbos. The luz also had no hana from the eight hadas. That's why the lose goes on forever. The only thing, the reason why you would die if pieces of our body dies, because they had enough from that fed by the eight sadas. Deep things, Rabbi said. But the but the Atsum Luz had no Hana from the eight sadas. So since they had no Hana from the eight sadas, it's going to live forever and Mimeno is going to come out. Okay, it goes on to different things. But the, the point is, Adur, Adur. Is that why the Chachmin had uh, two months of Adar and decided for two months? <laughs> That's good. But Adar is a tiny type of a tree which has tremendous fragrance. Um, so, so the Gemara says that, uh in Beitza, that our right says she is Kaimun Chasav eaten behind Adar. The Gemara says that if you want your business to work, you should plant a, an Adar tree. I'm not sure what it is in, in, in English, but an Adar tree, meaning make sure the Nisham is good. So here's like a little chiddush here that the that the uh, good business is totally in your neshama. Uh, where Chazal made this kasher, good good. Like if you want you want your nechassim to be matzliach, nechassim be matzliach doesn't mean that I I make good business decisions. Nechassim to be matzliach means that I buy something and its value goes up. So the positive shot in the Gemara is make a free you know like. Make a fragrance tree. It's like you know when you want to sell a house, like you bake a cake, so <laughs> so it smells good, <laughs> you know. Like, but uh, what, he's, what he's saying is it's a very deep thing, and it's lashon adar, like chodesh adar, is the chodesh again. Remember Mordechai, Esther, Mordari, Esther Zohadasa. It's all about besamim. It's all on the nose, so it's all about the the reach tov. Okay, so um, well, I was just thinking shama rezochar zochar and reach. To remember. To remember. So, um, so at the end, let's just go now. Let, now that we know all this, <laughs> let's just look. As I was saying at the beginning, we, like what's the spirituality of the nose? But it comes out adra. But that's the seat of the neshama. It's the most spiritual part that we have. And by yibach ba'ab of nishmas chayim is that's how that's where our neshama came into us. So now, what do we do with that spirituality? So there is a natural inclination to get angry because my neshama is violated. It's a natural inclination, but it's not a good inclination. Um, so it comes out from this that we should never get angry, never. Even, even people that are not hagunim. People have a bad temper and get angry at everybody and everything. Okay, so everybody's, uh, it's a, I don't know what it is, like, I think people get, it's, it's addictive, I think. So there's an addiction of anger. People are addicted to it because it's a, it's a really easy way to intimidate everybody. Around. Riots start. Huh? Riots start with a couple of people. And then... Yeah. 
No, but I'm saying it's, I, I mean, people, people are, it's not just a bad habit. I think that people, it's, there's an addiction to anger because it all feels good, which has to be analyzed onto itself. How many nigga had something? Huh? Call me nigga had something. Yeah, but why? I'm saying that there's, there's, um, why? Call me nigga had something, but why? Because you're taking the neshama and your mama's abusing it. Of course it feels good because it's your neshama. <laughs> That's why it feels good. And of course, it intimidates everybody around you because it's the neshama. So, um, <laughs> do that again. Uh, <laughs> that face, do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people have it real on the side with this thing with with anger. A lot of it seems like natural or even uh, um, genetic, but the fact is obvious. We have I'm not blessed with anger so much because I don't have such a good neshama. But, um, <laughs> See people that are that have this problem. It's like a very serious, it's a very serious thing. Like even if they're they're controlling their temper, they're like constantly, uh, you know, like, like it's like a constant uh, thing. It's in the nose. Yeah. Does it mean they're more in touch with the neshama? Do we say? It, it, it means they're not. Neshama. They're they're. It's not in control. You said you said. I think you used the word. The, the no, neshama. I'm saying the more neshama there is, the more uh, possibility of anger there is. But then, then the more neshama is, the more one has to control. Like you have a very strong machine inside of you. It's very strong. Is it like an avodah zarah? It is. Kol akoyes, kol akoyes, kilo even avodah zarah. So what's the chat? Speak it out. Why is it avodah zarah? Take, taking your neshama and using it the wrong way. It's a different purpose. Yeah. So, so let's just finish a paragraph. It's a different end. But here's a good way to use our nose. Chaim, uh, you can give out life because it's your neshama. Varichas arichos af. Why do we always speak about charona af and we're not talking about arichos af? Be long nosed, patience. Even people are not worthy of it. I am Lamatim Li to go ahead and get angry. Tamid Rotsa Lamalis Rotsain. See, I think it's different, by the way. Controlling anger is one thing, anger control is one thing. Um, but <coughs> that's not to be an angry person. I think that's a real of it is on a shaman. Like anger control accounts a ten, you know. Like uh, that's it's um that's one thing, that's a good start. But but the the real thing is like um, I think like the neshama shouldn't be getting angry. The neshama should be, you, should, you can use that same energy to, 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 to be happy and to smile at people and to make people feel good. Look what he does with the same, with the same anger, Mita. It's the same Mita. Lamaloi struts and lahafi koshela lahachi shalitka. Help the afflicted. Fulfill people's rutsing. Feel strongly about things. That's your neshama. If you feel strongly about things, you can become a great, uh, a great person. Never be angry. This rotzon to want to make everybody around you have nachas ruach. This is the rotzon of the neshama that was blown into our. Uh, and it's the same koach that we have on, to be mashpi on everybody around us and intimidate everybody with anger. We have the exact same koach to create everybody, uh, to put everybody in a, in a good mood. By the way, I just want to say, that, like, I notice this about um, people that lose their temper a lot. They also have the koach. The, the, same, the very same people lose their temper always have the koach to make everybody around them feel good. And mamash goes together. So it's it's um, like in one word, everybody is is, is is so happy with them. So one way to learn shot is, well, we're happy you're not angry. <laughs> That's good. But but, but a, a, another way to learn shot is that that um, it's the same cause. Co- neshama abused like avodazara. Avodazara is an is is your neshama going, like you say, neshama doing the wrong thing, wrong end, wrong outlet for the neshama. So, so the same thing is kas is the wrong outlet for my reaction to some type of a violation. The right reaction is to use the same neshama to bring everybody around. 
and to smile, to suffer panam yafais, and to be happy, and to be makarv, and to be so it's a, a big, the big madrega. And um, the bnei yisoskar, I recommend bnei yisoskar chodesh adar. It's a, a beautiful sefer here in our library. And, and, it's in line. Hmm? It's in line. There's one in line. It's included in in, in, in bnei yisoskar latera, or it's a separate. Bnei yisoskar goes according to no, it's a separate volume two. Volume one is according to Parshius. Actually, no. Bnei Yisusker is on the on the Chadash, and he has another our Pali Toyar, which is on the. On the you, you, you spoke is that about. What the nose Yes. You spoke about the fact that the, the smell has no, no, you don't have to separate anything, can you? Same thing was true with the man, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So, so I, 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 yeah, I so had the taste a, is connected. It's a shy of whether they made a bracha on man or not. I was not. in the question. So it would seem to me, I, I actually brought a raya from here once, it's on the Lusman that on the man you should make a bracha. You should, should not. Well, it had no elimination. Right, right. right. What? Does it mention smell? It had a taste, know, had a whatever tom, taste. Tom, yeah, tom. 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 But it was, but it was 100% pure, so if the shot in a bracha is to do a beer between toy virah, so then there's no makam of toy virah on the man. I didn't see it in the same way. Put this color in there. Your well, nana, but all right here. Yeah, but the reason is call on nana because when you're having a hana, so then you're bringing it into yourself, and you need to be mavar the way from the ra. But if you're bringing it into yourself, you're not, there's no ra involved. Yeah. So mishkal the kedusha intimacy the kedusha. There's no ra. It's not a question, it's not that. The after bracha. That's a different thing. Yeah, but I'm saying that that would apply to the month. Talk about it. And, and if, as far as were, the if there was a kazayas. As far as the kushan meat, so then it's a good idea. So the reason is, yeah, why would I make a bracha on Mishkal? That's what I'm saying, because Mishkal ben Kedusha is cool like that. There's no ra in it. Why would that be if 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 the Kusha Mikush was 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 in it wasn't part of no Mishush. <coughs> Mish yeah, yeah, who's in Mishush? Right. So that's not too much Mishkal. Okay. No, but you see you see Mishkal is not to see is on the one hand the biggest Avera right. and the biggest mitzvah yeah. and Tara if right. it's if it's Bikadusha. But because, see because it's like anger. But why is it? But why is it in the, the, in the gather of, of of the five chushim of, of Mishras that was the was cut the get we work like we work like we work like to a mishkal is totally in Mishras. It's like a side thing to mishkal. Mishkal is not. I'm just asking on Mishras then. I'm asking on Masaj. Okay, so why don't we make a bracha on that? Why don't we make a bracha on it? Yes, I'm saying is it because. It, we, uh, the Gemara deals with Reach, so that's that's the time because it's so. Late, so I mean, but that's a technical. That's a technical thing because I mean, philosophically, I'm not sure, but technically, um, because there's no shear, the Gemara says. So if someone has a nos hamishush, it's like it's hard to know the shear. Like if you ate something, ate something. Here it is, gone today. Here today, gone tomorrow. No, the Chachamim say that that I mean. The, 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 only sounds like half an answer, but then that the uh, Krishna uh, that the uh, Hamato some somehow is, is meant to cover that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know.